Good morning and welcome to STEM Saturday. I'm Miss Linda and today we are going to have a lot of fun. Tis the season for candy corn. So let's have fun with candy corn. If you would have received your packets, you picked them up by now. Candy corn stem. In it you will find your packet of instructions of everything that we're going to be doing today. And of course, supplies to do it with. You are going to have three cups and a bag of toothpicks. And of course, the most important, a bag of candy corn. Now, for some reason, I was thinking that I tend to do these fun experiments with like food. So why not candy corn? Not just for eating. Hmm, I haven't had one in a long time. Pretty sweet. So let's get started with our first challenge. The first challenge that we're going to do is the candy corn stacking challenge. So what you wanna do is take a paper plate or even just use a smooth surface like your table. And I'm just gonna dump my candy corns all over here. And the stacking challenge is we are going to uh, stack the candy corn as high as we can and see how high we can get them and when you look at our stack from the outside, it's kind of looked like a corn cob because of the yellow bottoms. Now, as you're stacking them, you know what? I think I'll just do it on the table. It might be easier to see. Now, the bottoms, the yellow part is wider. And so we want to, and I'll just kind of keep going around and around and have them point inward. Now you can make yours as big or small as you want. Um, I think I'm going to just, let's see, keep mine at a smaller. Now I gave you a handful of candy corn. Um, since it is the season, feel free to go and get another bag and expand these and make them bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So I have mine laid out and that's my bottom layer. Now you'll take your second layer and I'm stacking them. I'm gonna push them in a little bit. Putting another one kind of in between each of the other candy corns. And see now how it's how it's looking now for me out here it's looking like a corn cob and get some more yellow over there because the outside the yellow part is wider and heavier than the as it tapers into the white this is lighter so what's gonna happen is as we're building this, they're going to start moving to the center. And eventually, it's just gonna all go into the center. Now, another variation to this, you can just keep building them and building them and building, see how tall you can get them before they like implode, I guess. Um, another variation would be get a marshmallow get one of those, get those big old, you know, big squishy marshmallows, put it in the center, and then take your candy corn, and as you're doing it, put it in there, and then poke the white tip into the center of the marshmallow. And that way, um, you keep building it and see what happens. Is that gonna keep it sturdy? Probably, just keep going. 
and stack as many as you can. Keep going. See, mine are already moving in. Okay. And then we'll move on to the next challenge. Very simple, the candy corn stacking challenge. Maybe you need a break to eat another candy corn. Hmm. Breakfast of champions. Okay, now it's time for challenge number two. Still working on the same candy corn. Candy, um, challenge number two is the candy corn tower challenge. Now, for this, my papers that you will have will say, uh, you know, in 15 minutes, set a timer and um, uh, build a tower as tall as you can, as big as you can in that amount of time. But you can do it in five minutes, 10 minutes, three hours, whatever you want. Set your own goals and make your own tower. Now, the only thing that I think is tricky about this, well, number one, I'm not a very good engineer and, you know, my towers might not nearly compare to what you're gonna be able to do. The challenge is taking the toothpick and putting it in to the candy corn without breaking the candy corn. It's kind of work. Actually, makes a, a candy corn hors d'oeuvre. So, in the challenge, you are going to start building a tower. Now, this is gonna take a while, and I'm gonna, oh, I think I got it in there, but it, it did feel like it was gonna crack a little. Okay, so already it's wobbling down. So what am I gonna need to do? I think this is going to take um, skill and some thought okay it's like a little top heavy let me see I can even try it this way so I'm gonna need to come up with something different or to help that situation so maybe I need to do a bigger base Put another toothpick in there let's see if I can whoop, it's all spinning put another toothpick in here there's kind of waxy Oop, see and it kind of came out and I'll take that off where was that okay and see if we can nope. this is exactly what happens it broke in half it happens to the best well I can set these aside and guess what I'll eat them later and I will try another one. Never give up. Never give up. It's a good mantra to have. Never, never, never give up. How about if I do it this way? What if I do it this way? Instead of setting them up like this, I do them like that. This kind of looks like the hull of a boat. Ah, that's staying nice. But now, how am I gonna go from there? Then, I'm gonna put some more on. Maybe I want to try it like that. Or, oh, I just had this other thought. If you made, maybe put uh, two of these together. Or, how about the, whoop, see, that's cracking. But um, however you do it, try different ways. And like I said, you have to be careful. They are going to crack. They're kind of waxy and waxy candy, and it's just going to, you know, do what it wants to do, apparently. So this is just a fun challenge to build as high as you can. I've done challenges like this before where we've taken marshmallows. They seem to be easier to work with because they don't crack. You know, I mean, they're easier to just poke them and build and build and build. Now, this is going to be a real challenge. I'd love to see what yours looks like. Please feel free to post them uh, and um, share them with everybody. So that is the candy corn um, challenge to build a tower. Okay, candy corn experiment number three. So, what I'm going to show you is you have three cups, and I labeled my cups having done the experiment. Got 
vinegar, water, and alcohol. It's rubbing alcohol. So I have the water, I have vinegar, and the rubbing alcohol. In my experiment, I took the three cups and I poured a little bit of liquid in each one. Now I wanna say, um, you can use clear cups. You probably would be able to see, well, you would be able to see a lot better to be able to see through them as uh, they're dissolving in their different stages. And here are my labeled cups of water, alcohol, and vinegar. And then um, I poured, like I said, a little bit of liquid in each. And I added, I only did it with one candy corn, but if you want to add, you know, a couple or three, whatever you want to add, maybe you have a bigger clear cup, but I gave you little cups just at least so that you have something to, um, to work with. You are going to add them and add your liquids to them. You are going to let them sit and, um, and watch them, time them. So it begins, all three cups, each labeled with a different liquid and of course, candy corn. After 51 minutes, water dissolved the candy corn in the first cup from the left. After one and a half hours, the vinegar totally dissolved the candy corn, which is the first one on the right. It took uh, water, water was the fastest one, 51 minutes in my experiment, to dissolve it. The next coming in the second was vinegar. The vinegar one came in, it took an hour and a half for that. So I had 51 minutes, an hour and a half, and then my alcohol one, well, uh, at two hours, I mean, it, like even checking it two hours later, that was barely, and then I checked it three hours later, it was about halfway. Well, after many hours, all are dissolved and the candy corn is gone. Why do they dissolve differently? It has to do with what is different in the liquids. So that is worth researching. Come to the library, we'll help you with that. I've given you three challenges, three different things you can do during the season again and again with a, um, with just taking your time and using your own creativity. So that is the Saturday STEM science for today, the candy corn experiments. I hope you enjoyed them. Until next time.